Formula Ford racing car is not perhaps the most obvious choice of vehicle to compare with an Audi R8 supercar, a BMW M6 Grand Coupe or a Mercedes A45 AMG. But here's the thing, because this particular Formula Ford is in fact road legal, hence the reason it wears number plates, has a set of headlights and even has a tax disc to prove it. Okay, it's only got a one litre turbocharged engine, but it's been pretty heavily turbocharged. Ford says it's got just over 200 horsepower, which might not sound a great deal until you realise that this car weighs less than 500 kilograms. It's got mega, mega performance as a result. Quite a lot more straight line performance than a regular Formula Ford would have. And it's the torque that's most impressive. I just put my foot down now in, <laughs> in fourth gear. You get a big, big thrust in the back for starters, but you also get all these massive chatters and fizzes from the wastegate as it opens and closes and dumps boost. It sounds just like a mid-80s touring car. It's fantastic. Listen. I mean, the rest of this car is absolutely straight Formula 4. Sequential gearbox, double wishbone suspension front and rear. Absolutely no curb weight whatsoever. Super, hyper instinctive, hyper precise steering. And the movement on all the pedals is just tiny. The brake pedal moves about an inch backwards and forwards through its total travel. But that's really nice because it's just a lovely solid pedal to lean up against. This car is all about showcasing Ford's award-winning three-cylinder engine. It's basically to show the world, I guess, an alternative view to what a sports car could be like. We're going to show you what it will do to an Audi R8 V10 in a straight line and to an M5 going around the corner and to a Mercedes A45 AMG going through the state. It can live with or beat all of those cars despite having only a one litre engine. But I think the real killer point about this car is not just how fast it is in a straight line or round corners, it's how much fuel you don't use in the process. Ford reckons that this this car will do 118 mpg. That's mad. All that performance and 100 mpg. That's the answer to all of our prayers, isn't it? Okay, so here's how the EcoBoost Formula 4 compares with the Audi. A straight drag race up to about 100 miles an hour. Unfortunately, it was soaking wet when we started filming, as you can see, which meant the four-wheel drive Audi had a massive advantage off the line. But when we compared them in the dry a bit earlier, before the camera started rolling, the Formula 4 could stay with the Audi up to 90. In fact, it was a little bit quicker. Once again, it was wet when we filmed the Ford and the M6 going through our favourite corner at the test track. And as you can see, the M6 was all over the place, whilst the Ford just basically drove through with no problems. Even so, the lack of inertia in the Ford was very obvious. And beside it, the M6 felt like a bit of a tank. Although it did provide us with the perfect opportunity to do some gratuitous sideways driving. And it was the same when we compared the Ford with the A45 through the Snake. The A-Class felt more stable, true, and it probably had a bit more grip, thanks mainly to the Ford's not entirely rain-friendly tyres. But the way the Ford could change direction so rapidly, thanks to its lack of weight, was still a real eye-opener. And that's the one key lesson in all of this, I guess, which is lightness in a sports car really is the holy grail. And when you don't have two tonnes of car to lug about, but instead, in this case, just half a tonne, when everything else kind of falls into place, sports car makers of the world, please take note. <laughs>